Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, man, we got an update on Deontay Wilder, and it looks like he is about to be fighting Luis Ortiz, and it is official from his official Twitter feed where it states Wilder versus Ortiz 2. To all my fans, I want to announce that Luis Ortiz and I have time for a rematch with the date and site to be announced shortly. All my controversial fights must get dealt with ASAP. Hashtag bomb squad. It also goes on to state in CBS Sports where it says Deontay Wilder announces Luis Ortiz rematch with date. Location still to be determined. In this article, it also goes on to state the rematch is expected to take Take place in September at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, according to LA Times' Lance Pugmire, who was told September 7th or September 28th is the likely date for a heavyweight main event fight on Showtime. Quote. Now, with this news coming out, dude, it is actually good news that we finally get an update on what Deontay Water is going to do. And for those of you who do follow the boxing game, this shouldn't be any kind of big surprise that Deontay Water is going to be fighting Luis Ortiz just for the simple fact is if you guys had seen his interview that he did on the friggin boxing voice he even stated in that damn interview that his next potential opponent was going to be a 50 50 between Luis Ortiz and Adam Kalnaki and now that we know that it is finally going to be Luis Ortiz dude it's good to see that we do have some kind of finalization on who he's going to be facing next we all know he's not going to be facing Anthony Joshua anytime this year because he has publicly stated that he is not facing Anthony Joshua until 2020. He even came out on the Boxing Voice interview where he stated that he wasn't going to be fighting Anthony Joshua anytime this year and that he was going to be fighting him in 2020. So it definitely looks like that he has redemption on the mind because he's trying to get the controversy out of the Luis Ortiz fight out of the way and it definitely seems like he's going to be fighting Tyson Fury after he fights Luis Ortiz and then after those two fights it definitely sounds like he will be fighting Anthony Joshua in 2020 after these two damn fights now with that being said at least he's being real with this all letting us know he ain't fighting Anthony Joshua this year so if you guys want to say he's ducking Anybody can say he's ducking if they want to. The only way I would say that he was ducking is if they had a contract in place like Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder formerly did before Anthony Joshua pulled out, stating he had to fight Alexander Provekin at the last minute. But with nothing really being in place, with no actual negotiations between the two parties being in place, you really can't even say he's ducking just for the simple fact it's in those failed negotiations that happened with the zone. Anthony Joshua was not in the friggin' contract for him to be able to fight. They did say that it was a $100 million fight for $20 million for him to fight whoever he wanted, and then two potential fights with Anthony Joshua for $40 million apiece, but with them not having all of the things outlined for that particular offer that they gave Deontay Wilder, and John Skipper himself even came out saying that they didn't have all the answers that Deontay Wilder's team needed for that specific offer that they were offering Deontay Wilder, they pretty much kind of dropped the ball on the information that they needed to give Deontay Wilder's team to be able to make those negotiations happen. But with that being said, you know what? It is what it is. Deontay Wilder, he's going to be fighting Luis Ortiz afterwards. He's most likely going to be fighting Tyson Fury. And then after that, we can be able to see a super fight with him and Anthony Joshua next year in 2020. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.